So the other day, brothers and sisters, uh, another missus called me. She's like, you won't believe where I live. Uh, you know, Trudeau's carbon tax has been passed. When you fill up your gas in your car, it tells you how many carbon credits you're using. It's happening already. If you think for all this time it was a conspiracy, it's like there was like a, oh, when the COVID started, like all of us and all of our friends will tell you, well, the next thing that is coming is probably a jab. You didn't believe us. And then it came. And then we told you, well, it's the jab is not the worst thing. What's going to happen is the ID thing in the form of a digital ID and the app came. You didn't believe us then. Believe us now. <laughs> let's let's watch this show. I mean, not show. You know, I, I, a guy. The control structure for taking over the United States and the rest of the world has been revealed. Please check this out. The biggest part of the great reset that you're all missing is the carbon credit scan. And what is the carbon credit scan? This is where they're telling you where they want to monitor, track, and trace every so-called a kilogram of CO2 that you emit. And they say the global average needs to be two tons per person per year. And you're using 16 tons per person per year, which means your activity has to go down by 800%. So how do they plan to do that? Well, first of all, they got the new first MasterCard in the world that is going to show a carbon allowance for every single purchase you buy. And to make sure that everything has a so-called carbon credit, Food, when you buy food now, if it's vegan, it's going to show you this nice low score of only one kilogram, 1.3 kilograms of CO2 per serving. Now, meat will be off the chart, so that's going to be a no-no. Mm -hmm. Check this out. If you go to a restaurant, even an Italian pizza place, they're going to show you the amount of CO2 for your dish. So literally everything you eat, everything you buy, if, is your clothes made of leather? That's going to cost more CO2 because it came from a cow. So every single thing you do is going to be tracked. Why? Because they want to put limits on how much you can spend monthly. They're telling you you're using 16 tons a year and they want you to use two tons a year. And the freak show just keeps going on. Now, by the way, big guy, I wonder how much uh, CO2 uh, Greta Thunberg uses. She travels all over the world. Uh, well, she remembered like one time she was in the U.S. and she's like, oh, let me take a boat. But uh, the boat, you know, most of the boats are made out of carbon, <laughs> carbon fiber. <laughs> so, like, what is she talking about? Uh, Greta Thunberg is um, epitome of this whole. Uh, we, we have scientists who will be screaming, who's been doing this for a living, and they have a whole bunch of journals published and a whole bunch of, uh, you know, peer-reviewed magazines, scientific magazines, and they'll be screaming like, "What are you guys talking about?" You know, this, uh, a lot of times uh, there's, uh, I watched a video just recently. Uh, there's a guy that has runs the greenhouses. He says for him to run the greenhouses, he actually have to burn the natural gas inside a greenhouse to get the carbon so he can get the, what? The plants to grow. Exactly. It makes no sense to me. Photosynthesis. Didn't, didn't we fight, Glenn? Did, didn't we fight for the, uh, <laughs> uh, for the Amazon to come back? Yeah, it's photosynthesis. The photosynthesis. That's what the, the planet does naturally. I'll tell you more. The carbon tax is tax on us because we are made out of carbon. That's yeah. the predominant element. Big guy, you know what it is? I told this to people 10 years ago. I said, get, get watch. You're going to see. Soon they're going to find a way to tax the air that you breathe. Okay? They tax the, the food that you eat, the land that you live on, the water that you drink, and now they're going to tax. They find a way to tax the air that you breathe. Mr. Trudeau is finding all these type of ways to increase the taxes on the people so that you can grow government even more. This is why I'm a libertarian. I'm against this form of governance. It's not by the people for the people. He works for the elites. But he doesn't even deny it. <laughs> He's just like, we're going to, there's so many videos out there. You can go on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram. And it'll tell you, look, uh, I know I'm breaking the Bill of Rights. But we have to because we know better. <laughs> they don't care. They really don't care. That's why you need to care. You need to have discernment. And the only way we survive this thing is by sharing. By sharing our knowledge. Share it within your family. Share it within your friends. 
If they're not going to learn, that's okay, but at least you share it. You planted some seeds. They're going to hear from somebody else, and maybe it will affect them in some ways. But, big guy, don't believe, we heard this expression a long time ago, and it applies even more today. Don't believe anything you hear. Only believe half what you see. And if you're watching the MSM, the mainstream media Muppets, don't believe anything you see. Okay? Because it's it, it's wrong. Because if you don't watch the news, you're uninformed. But if you watch the news, you're misinformed. It's not just wrong. It's completely opposite of truth. <laughs> There's agenda there. To make, as a matter of fact, they make you feel like, you know, all those uh, self help uh, videos on YouTube about manifestation. What do you need to do? Uh, to achieve something in life, uh, it's not uh, wishing to feel that way, it's, it's about being that way. You have to be in that mindset. So if the MSM uh, talking head will put you in the mindset of being inferior to whatever, you are nothing, you are just speck of dust, you're just an accident. You know, you're part of the evolutionary process. You have nothing to do with intelligent design. There is no God. And you are carbon. And we need to tax you. And, you know, you breathing and farting is against uh, the well-being of the world. Then you have no value. You do have a value. Brothers and sisters, all of you have a value. It's an important value. And we value a lot. We love you. We'll see you in the next one.